Hey guys, today we're doing a video how to winterize your bike and get it ready for the winter. So one of the first things you do when you're going to store the bike is put fuel stabilizer in it because fuel nowadays has ethanol and ethanol turns into water. So usually I'll use like the Startron or I'll use the K100. Um, the K100 is a half ounce per one gallon so you only need two two and a half ounces of this to treat a five gallon tank yeah this one for the initial dosage is um one ounce for every three gallons of gas so you would need an ounce about almost two ounces uh, if you use startron but i've used them used startron before and a k100 is new that i'm using now and then the other thing you want to do is keep your get your paint shine it up keep it clean i mean i have a matte bike so i'll be using the duckies matte cleaner um you want to get yourself one of these uh battery tenders i i go with the battery tender junior because i've been using them for years for 10 years and never failed me before and they're pretty good and you know, if you're going to store in the garage or outside get yourself a a nice cover that's all weather preferably in the garage then you just need like a dust cover which are a little bit a little bit cheaper this all weather one i got at a local shop this one was i think it was about 80 dollars so it's good for rain and i just use it for indoor stores at the garages if not the paint gets this grime all over it it's it's weird it gets like dusty and sticky so that's just what um it's good to cover your bike up, especially keep the paint fresh for springtime. Yeah, so first what you want to do is you want to put fuel stabilizer in your tank when you go um, fill it up right before you're about to um, put the bike away for the winter. So um, put the fuel stabilizer in it at the gas station and then fill it up so that um, it mixes with the gas. And then when you ride home, I usually try to fill up at a gas station that's like a mile or two away from the house so that way by the time I get home the fuel stabilizes through the lines and it gets to the fuel injectors and the gas line so nothing uh, none of the fuel gets bad um, if you have a garage you, you want to use the paddock stands it's the rear right here so yeah you can move the tire all winter keep the air um, moving and so that it doesn't get a flat spot and you also want to get yourself a front stand i have the one that picks it up from the triple tree um, there's also one that goes right right here right at the forks um, i don't like that one i used to have it it's not stable so i prefer the one that goes right under the triple tree um yeah next you want to make sure that the bike is clean like i said for your debris Give it a good wash if you want. Um, you also want to um, make sure that it doesn't have any water marks or oil spots. Just keep the bike nice and clean. Yeah, your bike will appreciate it. Then if you're leaving it outside, if you don't have a garage, like I used to, I didn't have a garage before, I used to have to leave it outside on the bike cover. Uh, you want to get yourself a good all-weather cover, like I said, that can keep the moisture out and keep it off the paint. And also if you want to take um, the battery out, um, take the battery out of the bike, um, put the battery tender and connect it into your basement or somewhere safe. And preferably put an acid battery on a piece of wood because if you put it on concrete, it's going to start draining. Um, it's, it's something weird about it. Um, and if you're going to if you have a like a shed or something i mean you can keep an extension cord to it then that's another thing you can do but I always try to keep your bike covered or from the elements and if you can't take the battery out if you're leaving in the garage then yeah you don't have to really take the battery out just with the trickle charger yeah so here's the trickle charger connector right here Especially for these uh, trickle charge juniors, uh, battery junior, tender juniors, what you want to do is you want to plug it into the bike first, then plug it into the wall. If you plug it into the wall and then plug it into the bike. So, like I guess I'm going to clean the whole bike, make it shiny. Okay. 
keep the bag of it clean before you store it. So let's wipe it down. Yeah, I think the most important parts about storing the bike for the winter are mostly the battery and the fuel stabilizer. And just giving it a good, good cleaning to wipe down. So it's nice and, sh and clean or shiny. I don't have shiny paint, so obviously it won't be seen. But yeah, those are the biggest uh, keys to storing your bike for the winter. If you can't get your bike off the ground, I would suggest moving the, the bike like once a week so that the tires don't get flat spots. But other than that, it should be good. Rinse off. Keep it looking good. But uh, we'll see what it's like when it's all covered up and ready. Well, usually I just go over the bike and keep it clean. That's what I do. Just go over. Yeah, like, I get real, real uh, lube the chain so it's nice and clean. And even though like I don't use this bike that much in the winter. I'll take it out here or there, and if it gets salt, then I just clean it or wash it off. Um, I like to keep the chain looped up so it doesn't get rust while it's sitting for a couple months. Yeah, so pretty much for um, winter storage, that's pretty much what you do. Put fuel stabilizer, get a nice bike cover, um, lift it off the ground. Um, and just uh, get a trickle charger. That's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't have a garage and you can't lift it off the ground, what I used to do when I lived um, when no, in a house with no garage, I just used to move it once in a, once a week, turn it on, move it around the driveway, just to get um, get it um, the tires not getting flat spots. Uh, the other thing I did since I didn't have a trickle charger was um, I took the battery out of the bike. Yeah, one of the other things you want to do is always change the oil before or at springtime. I don't change the oil um, before storage. I just change it right when spring comes around. That way I know when to change it again the next year. Yeah, I don't see what the big deal about changing the oil um, before you put it for storage and then changing it again. Well, like, why waste oil? Um, I just change it in the spring, right when around March 21st. Uh, the first day of spring, I usually change the oil and we're good to go for the rest of the year. Yeah, if you don't have a garage, like I said, um, I used to just take the battery out of the bike and then connect it into the basement with a trickle charger. So that way your battery still keeps getting the charge in the winter. You don't want a dead battery when spring comes around. And I mean, for my adventure bike, I don't really put it away for the winter. It's mostly for sport bikes uh, that people don't want to ride in the cold weather but my adventure bike's got heat so that thing will be riding all winds going on all right so thanks guys i hope you like this video and if you do just give me give us a like and a subscribe and if you have any comments or anything i left out just leave it in the comment section all right see you guys take care